What it do, my baby booze, and welcome back to my channel for yet another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4, The Rockin' Bachelor Challenge. I'm a rockin' bachelor, and rock stars need love too. Pretty early in the daytime, I noticed that the roses in Noah's room really needed to be like, you know, watered and harvested and everything. So he's just gonna quickly go ahead and uh, tend to his tiny little romantic garden in his room. And uh, after that, we are going to start our speed dating day. I guess we can go ahead and roll what Jen has to say. Yeah, we are going to be doing some speed dating today. Now, for the girls who we are going to go out with today, obviously we really need to give Fallon and Annabelle a chance to kind of shine because they haven't really had any kind of romantic time with him. So we really want to allow them to have that time with him as well. So, you know, we need to give the other girls a chance. So we're going to start with Fallon because she has the lowest uh, relationship with him of anybody so far. So, uh, I mean, they are pretty good friendship wise. Like, you know, they can talk and everything which is really nice you know he should be able to be friends with the woman he's going to you know marry one day or just be with you know I'm sure that he's not gonna like propose to the girl who wins the bachelor right away because obviously they would have only had like a few dates and um only if their connection is like super super strong will he actually propose to them because he's really serious about marriage he doesn't want to take it super lightly he just doesn't want to make a joke out of love and he really honestly and truly wants to find it because he's always so busy with his work that he can just never meet women and he really is confident that in this household is the woman he will one day marry so he just got a little royalty report for one of his songs perfect let's not play ping pong um you know that would have been really cool but we really have to get the show on the road when it comes to dates so where is my Fallon Fallon girl oh she is so beautiful she's so stylish man look at her glasses I love her we oh she wants to play ping pong as well no no, <laughs> we're not all play <laughs> We're not all playing ping pong. So we need to go over to Fallon and ask her on a date straight away. And I'm thinking we're both hungry and it's, you know, about lunchtime, sort of, you know, 10, a little after 10 a.m. But uh, there is this new Mexican restaurant in, 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 in Oasis Springs. Look at honey. Oh my God. By the time we get back, she should be healed up and ready to go on a date of her own or something. I don't know. I feel so bad for honey. If you guys didn't catch the last episode, episode uh ivy and honey got into a little bit of an altercation honey tried to punch ivy for talking smack and ivy just beat the living heck out of her in in return so <laughs> that was uh that was quite a little time oh wait 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 don't do this in front of the other girls we really need to do this in private so i really i need to maybe we can ask her over here wait here and then have fallon meet you right next to where you're going because I don't want any of the girls seeing me like flirt with another one. I don't want them to get jealous and lose romance with them. So uh, we're just going to go. He, he was like, hey, meet me in the front. And she's like, you got it, pal. Did you see her like pat him on the back? That was kind of cute. When I found out that I was going to be the first one to go on a date with Noah today, I got so so excited. Hell yes. Now I get a chance to finally show what I got. Now, usually we would go over here for eliminations, but today we are, we're going to call it treating her special or something. I don't know. So we're going to go um, ask her on a date and I have the perfect place to go right now. So we're going to ask on date and we are going to go to this little Mexican restaurant in Oasis Springs. Super duper excited for it. So let's go. A singing management company has booked another concert for Noah. Oh my God. He's just got so many offers going on. Like he's really in the peak of his career. It's really nice. So we are going on a date. Going on a date. Going on a date. Going on a date. <laughs> going on a date. If you guys know the sitting on the toilet song. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go to this Mexican restaurant in Oasis Springs. We'll see you there. Uh, 
Honestly, I think the main reason I even installed, oh my God, really? As soon as we get here, the main reason I even installed this restaurant, which I did not build, of course, I uh, downloaded this off the gallery. I guess not of course, but you know, I definitely did not make this. It's very, very cute. I haven't been inside or really seen it. So yeah, we'll see what it looks like on the inside together. We already have some paparazzi harassing us. So that's nice. How did that happen? We asked her on a date and all of a sudden we've got like a super nice amount of romance. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so we need to go, uh, well, you know what? No, I don't want to interact with her until I get food because I swear since he's a celebrity, now he just gets like amazing, amazing relationships with everybody he talks to. So where should we sit? Is there like a private? We should sit out on the patio. <gasps> so cute. Okay, where should we sit? Where should we sit? Maybe we should sit, maybe in the shade kind of. Let's sit. Can we not sit? Can we not? I want to sit right here. Is this not an actual restaurant? Is that what this is? Is this a bar? No, this is totally a restaurant. I don't understand. Maybe it's because the hostess hasn't gotten here yet or something. I don't know. I really would like to request a table though, please. Por favor. That'd be really nice. You know, I got I got places to go, people to people to see. So there's a waiter. Tom Peeping is our waiter. You actually have a day job. Interesting. Everyone, you know Tom? Tom Peeping? Yeah, well, apparently he works at the local Mexican restaurant. Why do they get to sit down? They all get to sit down. I can't sit down. If they all get to eat their food and get waited on and I don't, <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad. And I got paparazzi up my butt right now. So this waiter is helping these people? What the hell? For some reason, everyone else can sit down and get waited on, but I can't. I literally can't even click on the table. That is such bogus. That is such bogus. I really wanted some Mexican food man. I've been craving Mexican food for so long. Like in real life, like legit, I've been craving Mexican food. And just to see the restaurant in The Sims makes me crave it even more. But apparently we can't go. So uh, we're just going to go move our date over to the cafe next door. I mean, it works for everyone else. It's literally functioning. It's just not functioning for me. And I was just telling someone how I was not having any glitches with mine. And they're already getting their damn food. Oh my God. They're already getting their food. Like, I'm actually so legitimately slow. angry that they get to have a nice little romantic date here, and I don't. Like, it's so annoying. All right, so there's, like, a little cafe. It's a movie theater, technically, but um, it's a cafe as well. So we'll go here. Okay, please tell me this is working functionally. <laughs> oh, look at her little, ooh look at her outfit oh my god yes at least we can order food so let's order for here a croissant a pain au chocolat <laughs> chocolat a cannoli let's get a cannoli for him and then she can get a croissant i love saying that word uh let's do a pain au, au chocolat <laughs> whatever the hell so uh, they're gonna order some food and then we're gonna have a little conversation or something hopefully you're gonna come in you're gonna go order your food please sir <laughs> Thank you. He just likes to stand around for the paparazzi. He's a little attention whore, you know. I mean, most celebrities, no offense to, uh, I highly doubt a celebrity is watching my videos, but no offense, you know, if you are. But yeah, they, they kind of like attention, you know, even YouTubers, like I'm a YouTuber, apparently. Obviously, I like attention because I'm drawing it to myself by, you know, making these vivid thumbnails for you to come watch my videos and listen to me talk like an absolute idiot for 20 minutes, you know? So we got that going for us. Um, So he's just going to grab his cannoli she got her chocolate and she's gonna sit down okay well we'll sit down right across from you i do want to sit together though maybe we could sit in this little corner here together with your date no don't finish your uh, chocolate yet don't finish it yet <laughs> we gotta go over to the like more private area i feel like i honestly want to like do a vip section or something and <laughs> have it so paparazzi can't get in because they are always so annoying dude leave me alone Ask paparazzi to leave. Please leave. Please. I don't want you. Oh, look at him waving. Like he actually enjoys this a lot, but I don't. Why don't I don't have time for this? I'm trying to enjoy a date with a beautiful woman. All right. Get out of my face. He's like, oh my God, he just bitched him out. I was getting fed up with the paparazzi. They never know when to quit. What a man. Oh, maybe we can set this thing so we could do soothing sage, sharpening saffron, romantic sandalwood. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to talk to her a little bit, tell a funny story we still have to socialize with her 10 times so we're going to propose a crazy scheme not sure what that scheme is going to be but we'll tell her a dramatic story we will be friendly and brighten her day 
and we'll do some gossiping. Like he knows all about all the other celebrities. So it, 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 it could be really fun gossiping with a celebrity. I swear they know all the ins and outs. Let's have a, um, do we need to have deep? Yeah, let's have a deep conversation with our date. Really? One paparazzi leaves and another comes. He's like, come on, look over here. Look over here, Noah. Come on, smile for me. He's like, Bleh. I can't have one nice thing. I can't have one nice thing. That paparazzi just would not stop. Luckily, Fallon was there to keep me calm. I'm honestly not too bothered by the paparazzi, but it's really, really cute how Noah actually fought them off. He already wants to... Really? You know, kissing is allowed on dates. So why don't we do our first kiss as well? Let's discuss our future together. That's a mod that I actually just installed. Like, I just installed it. Look at their relationship. <laughs> Oh my god. Look at how much of a connection he's having with her already. He likes her a lot. Honestly, it might be because she's so pretty to look at. I mean, look at her. Like, she's gorgeous. And then her crazy style. Like, I love her crazy style. I'm sure he does too. And you know, like, the the, the whole date mishap about, you know, going to that Mexican restaurant and them not serving us or whatever. It could be a story we tell to our children one day, you know? Oh my god. I'm so excited. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me. I really don't. So he needs to be flirty. He does. Can I like be her for a second and try to get him flirty or something? I don't know why he's not. Cause like I literally have the romantic sandalwood going. So, you know, if I blow a kiss at a famous person, it'll give me fame. Oh my God. She wants to do the first kiss thing. Why isn't it coming up for me though? Okay. Maybe after they discuss their future together, maybe he'll get a little flirty. So he's like, so what do you see uh, for us in our future? And she's like, oh, I see kids. I see a house with a white picket fence. I see it all, baby. I would love to be your wife. And he's like, oh, well, that's what I like to hear, you know? I'm not here for just laughs and giggles. I'm here to find the woman I will marry one day. So it's really nice to know that she actually is serious. So I think we're going to give her a first kiss. Um, I did read in the rules that that is allowed on, on speed dates. So we're going to give her that little first kiss. I mean, things are going so spectacularly besides all the people surrounding us. Really, Penny. Get out of my face. <laughs> okay, here goes their first kiss. I really shouldn't have done it here. I should have done this like outside or something at the very least. But here we go. They're having the... Oh my God. That was not a first kiss. That was... That was a freaking... That was passionate. Okay. Fallon kisses so passionately. I forgot where I was for a second. I gave that kiss my all, honey. I needed to leave an impression on him and I think I did the job. Their relationship just shot up. Like shot the... F up the uh, sorry i didn't mean to swear oh and there there goes their relationship just completely completely full um <laughs> so like he doesn't have that with anybody else and honestly i'm 17 minutes into this recording maybe we should give the spotlight to another girl for a second just because i mean their relationship is full this date went really well um maybe we could have one more deep conversation or something well we'll at least socialize all the way with her we could become best friends honestly like they like each other a lot man god this is gonna be a hard decision when it comes to like eliminations and everything because he's gonna start liking everybody like super super well it really just comes down to like if they're rude to him or if they're like an asshole of some kind that's the only thing that's gonna get them to be eliminated because like honestly he's gonna be like super zapped so fast with with their relationships so he's just gonna uh, socialize with her one more time and then we're gonna end this date just because man <laughs> this was a this was a good one and all we all we did was go to a cafe i mean we, it's technically a movie theater we could have watched a movie but this is speed dating after all so um maybe maybe if she stays longer you know to like the top three or four or whatever and then we can go watch a movie because it won't be so speedy and like eventually we get to spend the whole day with one person so all right uh i think it's time to end this date so we're going to go ahead and end it ending early okay gold medal earned of course legendary legend Dairy date. So she's gonna go home and then we're going to call up the next person. We're gonna bring Annabelle back or bring Annabelle here. I don't know if we have enough romance to ask her on a date, but we're going to try. So let's go over to her and go to romance. Ask on date. Beautiful. So I'm not sure where we're gonna go with her. I mean, he is. Is he hungry? Kinda. And he has to go to the bathroom too. So wherever we go, we gotta we gotta go to the baño. Oh my god, we could have just gone skating. Let's go skating. 
thinking maybe we could try out the Italian restaurant right next door because I did download a couple of them I'm trying to you know figure out more places for us to go on dates because we have to go on so many at one time look at our dress for reeking out in the background that was crazy all right here we go Woo! legendary date look at him look at him <laughs> we're gonna try out this Italian restaurant because apparently I mean it was working it just wasn't working for us so if this doesn't work I'm gonna like pull my hair out we'll see you there Really though, you guys, I don't know where Fallon was hiding from me. Like, it's crazy. Oh my God, look at the lighting in this restaurant. This is so beautiful. Both of the restaurants I just downloaded are fuck freaking, I, I always, I'm always trying to swear. Freaking spectacular. Is there a bathroom here? Maybe upstairs. Yes, okay, I feel like they added this bathroom in right like at the last second. There's even a shower, wow. Okay, we're gonna go use this really quickly just cause uh, I don't wanna have to be on a date with someone with a very, very, very low bladder. I don't wanna do an interview. Bro, leave me alone. The stupid paparazzi is so annoying, man. I don't even understand. Why are you in your jacket? First of all, it's super hot outside in Oasis Springs right now. Out. That guy just shot up the stairs. Did you see that? Go ahead. Use the bathroom. We're all good. He is hungry though. Is she hungry at all? Not really, but uh, she's like at the bar, so <laughs> she can't be that freaking full where she can't handle a little bit of a food. So let's sit it at this table. Let's request this table. Perfect. We can actually do it. Cool. So she's going to stop talking to the bartender, please. Stop it. And she's going to request a table for them unless he can do it. No, she's going to get up now. Okay. Now he's sitting at the bar bruh <laughs> why don't you go down oh wait 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 what does this say before it leaves me what should we do from discussing a future together relationships are hard sometimes you just have to follow the flow but what's the flow together apart how much do we love each other and is love enough my god you're getting all philosophical on me bro i just wanted to speed date with her but like honestly i feel like fallon just came out of nowhere just came out of left field with him oh that's why he was shooting up the stairs he's a vampire <laughs> but uh yeah i I feel like he really is, really enjoyed the date with Fallon. The date with Annabelle is going nicely. Um, We haven't really gotten to like do anything yet, but uh, damn. Okay, we got so many concerts going on that we have not approved yet. <laughs> Are we gonna be able to sit down or what? Okay, sit together, please. Socialize a little bit, socialize about the meal, sit and talk to the date and just socialize 10 times. That seems simple enough, especially at a beautiful setting like this. Weren't these two just at the Mexican restaurant? What are they like? restaurant hopping dang dude hey marcus hey marcus quit chatting up my lady thank you okay let's just right away go ahead and order from the from the for the table just so we have that out of the way he received another gift from his fan oh my goodness so okay what should we drink i think annabelle is good with the water but i think he wants a whiskey sour he's into the whole alcohol thing um so we have appetizers but we're gonna go straight for him Oh my god, no, I have the hiccups. We're gonna go straight for a main course. What should we do? It is an Italian restaurant after all, so we should do something Italian. They really don't have like Italian styled food besides like breadsticks, pizza. There's not even really a whole lot of pasta here. What kind of Italian restaurant is this? Some bullshit. So I think we're gonna do pizza or the breadstick. I suppose she can have some cheesy bread. She's not that hungry, so mind you. No, not him, her. So she's gonna have some cheesy bread he is going to get a pepperoni pizza because why not whatever go ahead and do that and 47 simoleons not too bad <laughs> look at caleb taking our order wow okay so she's like so i want the cheesy bread not too hot if you could make it fresh though just you know keep it on the cooling rack for a few seconds he's like my kind of lady she knows what she wants let's be friendly with her brighten her day be friendly again we we just gotta you know talk to her a bunch order your food for yourself and for your date i did oh did i have her do it dang it compliment her outfit she, say she looks really really nice because her dress is really really nice i like the little hands over your over your titties that's really really uh, nice to look at <laughs> makes me want to be your dress you know just have a deep conversation we can socialize about the meal after we get the meal but uh do you want to do anything romantic hug somebody and buy a b-box no we're not doing the b-box thing <laughs> thank you very much come again no flatter someone we can definitely flatter her i think that'd be really really sweet oh flatter there we go that's a very friendly interaction so it wasn't as hot and heavy as it was with fallon i'm noticing unless you know it gets there once we get our food i mean it's very it's the beginning of our date and everything so we got our food he got his pizza and his whiskey sour and he's so he just 
like went straight for the whiskey too. So we're gonna discuss our food with her. Complain about dish? No, it's a good dish. It's a very good dish. Enthuse about meal. Just be like, you know, cheesy bread didn't come from Italy. Did it come from Italy, cheesy bread? Like, did they do it first? Did they? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, they are all about like cheese and stuff and uh, all that stuff. I don't know. I, I really don't know if you're from Italy. I'm sorry. Like, if I get everything wrong, because I really don't know. I'm just kind of talking out of my butt right now. God, like, I want to do something romantic. Wait, where are you doing, man? What? Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Listen to fan. I don't want to listen to my fan. I really, like, don't want you bothering me. Is that mean? <laughs> Let's uh, sign an autograph and maybe she'll leave us alone after that because I'm really trying to focus on Ivy right or not Ivy I had a little notification about Ivy right there so he's just gonna sign this little autograph for her there you go now leave me alone thank you very much I'm literally gonna cheat her to just go away so we're gonna talk to her again we need to enthuse about where are you going socialize about the meal again is she going to the bathroom now so this is really embarrassing but just a few minutes into the date we were having a really good time and everything but all of a sudden, my stomach started to gurgle, and I got that really weird feeling in my tummy. And I had to go to the bathroom so bad right then and there. All right, just eat your food a little bit more. So, I mean, this date's going pretty well. We are getting along with her very, very well. She's a very sweet, very sweet woman. The only thing is, it hasn't gotten very romantic. Like, not as hot and heavy as it got with Fallon. Fallon was very flirty, like, very outright and very, like, um, outspoken. Annabelle is kind of the kind of girl. Are you posing right now? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's posing for pictures as she's in the bathroom. Look at him. Oh my God, he's so funny. I have not, I have not gone out with actual Sim celebrities for like ever. I don't think I've ever done this. So she's just washing her hands right now. Go back and sit here because your date is getting flooded with people right now and uh, you don't want them to be stolen away from you. We do need to socialize one more time. Um, oh, look at him. Listen. I love him so much. Like, can I have him? Oh, look at this lady's nails. Yes, bitch. Yes. Okay, so we're going to be friendly with her again. Um, Honestly, like, I feel bad. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we should. Uh, Well, I don't know. It's 9.49 p.m. already. Are you kidding? Let's have one more deep conversation because that's something that we need to do. And then we also need to enthuse about our meal a little bit as well. Talk about the news. What? I, I just, I kind of downloaded some more interaction mods. So I have something different to talk about because, you know, I always have the same dang thing to talk about. I don't know why I'm supposed to socialize about the meal, but they're not like giving me any interactions about it, like at all. Can we get to know her at least? Let's get to know her. And I also want to just be romantic one time, all right? And blow her a kiss or something. Just be romantic. Tick. Give me some romance. That's what I need. She's so shy. Like, that's the thing. She's so freaking shy. Look at her. She's so cute. She's so adorable. She's like, oh, that was so sweet. And dang, holy cannoli. <laughs> Speaking of cannolis, our date is pretty much finished. It was a it was a good date. I'm not gonna lie, it was a very good date. Um, but I do think we are going to end the meal and pay for pay the bill or whatever. So, um, that was a nice date. Very very nice. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. It was it wasn't anything special, honestly. But it wasn't bad at all. It, like it wasn't as much of a failure as it was with Carly or anything. So I think we're gonna end this date now. I'm not gonna lie. Annabelle is sweet, but the connection wasn't strong. And then the next person. Person, we need to go out because like I need to at least have three people. I can't just have it be two people. I think we're gonna go with Ivy next just because it's kind of like down the line. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go with Ivy next and I do want to just I kind of want to just chill. Maybe we could um, go skate over here. So we'll have Annabelle go home. It was a really good good meal. Thank you Annabelle for coming by and uh, chatting with me and having this date it was very lovely. We're going to bring Ivy. She is ready. Look Look at her. She's ready to go. Oh my gosh. She really brought out all the stops. Look at her. She's like, yes, this is my day to shine. She is, oh my God, like an emo dream. I swear. Okay. So we're going to go to romance and ask her on a date. Come on. Oh, they have like a little secret handshake. That was so adorable. Look at how tall. She's like, so she's taller than him with this hair. It's so fluffy. So poofy, you know? <laughs> oh, there's a nightclub. Oh, okay. So this is the movie theater and this is the nightclub. They look so alike just because of the reds and everything. Let's Let's go to the nightclub with her. It is night time. Maybe we don't even have to go skating or anything. I feel like that's not really Ivy's thing anyway. So let's go to the nightclub.
All right, here we are at the what is this called? Fangtasia, Fangtasia nightclub in Oasis Springs. I figured a nightclub would be right up Ivy's alley. I have a feeling she's my party girl. Ooh, I just love Fangtasia. I used to go here with my girlfriends all the time. You know, I always know the best spots, and Noah, he seems to have the same gift as me. This is what it looks like on the outside. It's very, very pretty, very pretty. So let's go ahead and sit and talk to her somewhere. Most of this is just like finding somewhere to sit. There's like too many places to sit, you know what I mean? So maybe we could just sit at the bar with her or something. So let's sit together at the bar, get some drinks Whoa. in us and uh, just have a good old time. Flirt with her and be the smooth talking celebrity I know you are. So uh, before anything, before anything, all right, I need to order a drink. <laughs> Let's order drinks for the group, for both of us. What kind of gentleman would I be if I just ordered one for myself? At a bar, you know? I mean, obviously at a restaurant, I'm gonna order it for myself because that's kind of... It's weird because etiquette at a restaurant is to not order for your date, right? Let them order for themselves. But at the bar, it's completely different. It's like, order me a drink too. <laughs> We're gonna do his favorite, which is rum and coke. I mean, it's my favorite, so... And I'm kind of him. So we're, we're just gonna say that that's his. Okay, we need to chat with her. So let's chat with her. Tell an unbelievable story and he's really confident so let's gossip with her inside joke because they already have like a secret handshake and I feel like they would already have an inside joke as well he got another gift from a fan my god it's like I don't need these things let's discuss our future together with her see what she sees in her future you know I, I'm really I'm curious to know what she sees like if, if she does see a future with me oh no Annabelle has food poisoning something must have been wrong with that restaurant food Annabelle should get on the phone and let them know Poor girl. <laughs> Seriously, that sucks, man. Wow, I really don't. That that just sucks. So he's going to be flirty with her and ask about her her future or their future and she's just like you know i kind of live like by the by the 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 what is it called like the fly in my pants or whatever <laughs> i feel like that's totally not how that saying goes but she seems like the type of person to do things her own way what she wants when she wants which is also actually very attractive too it's attractive when one wants to settle down let's do a first kiss as well because uh you know we're, we're trying to experiment with everybody um what is happening right now why is my fan naked and mortimer is like mortified you know, let's not uh, get sidetracked here. All right, Ivy come hither and my drink is just sitting there at the bar Like nothing better happen to it. I swear nothing better happen drink this afterwards, too So we're gonna give her a, a nice first kiss be prepared be prepared. Oh, yes Yes. Oh, I think I do have a mod that's like, you know, take out the first kiss interaction where it's like all shy and everything. This guy is taking a picture of me. Are you kidding? I should be taking a picture of your crazy booty. Our relationship with Ivy is growing so much. I feel like this is very, very lusty. Like, I feel like this is very, it has a lot to do with lust. So let's make a toast since we both have drinks in our hand. To us, to finding love on a TV show of all places. All right. Yes. A toast to finding love. To the rockin' bachelor challenge and she's like yes to us drink that baby it's like she drugged him and she's like yes drink it oh god so weird okay so let's do let's do a pickup line i don't even care he's, he's feeling frisky he's feeling a little lightheaded you know so uh we're gonna whisper seductively to her and that's you know flirting and everything blow her a kiss and i think flirting and socializing is like the same thing anyways so okay mortimer you really need to get out of my bubble because i have a bubble and you are inside of it right now so why don't we go here together like away from the crowd because the crowd is seriously just like oh great and then the naked guy starts running where is he going where's the naked guy going why are you naked sir so we're gonna go over there ivy's like gladly i'll meet you over there Gladly. Slow dance with Ivy. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't even care. Oh, she took she took his hand with the with the alcohol in it. Oh my god. So sweet. Aww. That's so cute. Slow dancing at the nightclub. I want to take a picture of this. <laughs> Look how much taller she is. I love it. That hair is so poofy. Oh my goodness. Aww. 
they would be a very very cute couple i really do think so like i think she's very very similar and like she really could handle you know a relationship with a rock star i really do think that she's the type of woman that really could handle that kind of lifestyle so oh wow the socialization thing is finished so why don't we stop slow dancing please thank you let's flirt with her one more time because that's what the date calls for so well i guess we could do a bold pickup line not like really we need to because she is honestly all ours like if we wanted to do the do she would be so so down for it look at her she was like oh my heart my heart <laughs> she loved it well the date seems to be over uh we got the whole socialization thing out of the way and jen did say that if you get that good to go you're able to end the date early so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go home oh annabelle's been here the whole time y'all oh shit and she still has that food poisoning oh she survived it can i still call the restaurant though wow she can't even call them anymore that sucks it's because she doesn't have it anymore i think she's hungry again though how are you already hung well, well yeah she, she didn't really eat much look at her she's so sad poor annabelle okay let's all go home i guess together in that pink limo all right and we will see you there I love, I love this little pink limo so much. He's like saying goodbye to the driver and everything. And Annabelle is right next to him still. She's kind of sad about how today went because she felt like she couldn't, she didn't really get the chance to uh, show him how she really feels and everything. And she feels like she may have, you know, gotten the band hammer because of it. And I'm not gonna lie, to be honest, I don't know who I'm gonna eliminate in the next episode. I really don't because they were all good dates. <laughs> like they were all not, like there was not one date that went badly. I think the most that I could probably say is he didn't have as much of like a sexual connection with Annabelle. With Annabelle it's more like friendly and he doesn't need a friend, you know what I mean? So I'm really gonna need your guys' help when it comes to the elimination in the next part because I'm stumped. I'm like, I'm honestly stumped and I already told y'all that I'm only eliminating people who I've gone on dates with and I think that I'm gonna keep it to where I'm only gonna eliminate someone I went on like the previous speed dating day with so like the three girls that I went on a date with today are the ones that are going to be like you know considered for elimination so like rita and everything she's not going to be considered for elimination for this round because we didn't go on a date with her this round you know what i mean so um it's going to be between annabelle ivy and fallon i need you guys to let me know who you think should go home because i really don't know i really don't like i think the only person that i can think of would honestly be annabelle just because and it's not even because like she did anything wrong like it's really just because like the connection just wasn't there as much as it was with the other girls we went on date was, dates with. You know what I mean? It's really something that we're going to have to consider when um, we think about eliminations for the next round. Looks like Honey is feeling a whole lot better too. She's still got kind of like a little red mark on her face, but it's totally not as bad as what it used to be and she's not limping anymore. So that's good. Um, you know, maybe she and Ivy should just stay away from each other. Ivy is so happy right now from her little romantic dance. She feels like she has this next elimination in the bag she really doesn't think that she is going home anytime soon so let me know y'all what you think who should we send home honestly i i really need i really need your help with this and as for me y'all i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here i really hope that you all enjoyed please let me know the answer to my question in the comments down below don't forget to you know go ahead leave me a like possibly subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it and i will see you all in my very next video Bye, loves. Mwah.